Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing to check out the Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion, this time with match number two of our finally perfected Pirate Warrior deck. I wanted to enjoy this before the Fiery War Axe nerf comes down, which we're all hotly anticipating, and also I happened to pull Leroy Jenkins from the Brawl this week, and so it just seemed like a good fit. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can get a win in our second match. All right, we got a Shaman. Uh, this could be trouble if he gets early game control, but if not, we could make out actually pretty well. Um, I think I'll keep... Uh, I don't like really having Blood Sail Raider early game, but I'm going to keep it all the same. Maybe we'll get a War Axe or something here. Heroic Strike's okay. Doesn't really synergize, though, unfortunately. Wow. You know... I can't really complain after the first game pulling double heroic strike in the opening hand, but it does get old, I'm going to be honest. Orax here, hope he does not have uh, double pirate cor blood sail corsairs or whatever. He does not, excellent. Okay, so now we can actually get a really valuable, that answers my question about whether it's worth holding on to blood sail raider. Because we got a 6 3 or 5 3. And I'm actually going to trade patches here and bop him because I want to start getting some numbers on the board. I don't know that he actually can remove the 5 3 unless he wants to play Maelstrom Portal and attack into it. If he gets a taunt here, that'd be pretty good. No, no taunt. That kind of sucks for him. Um, I think I will actually. Uh, just knock down his 0-2 weapon, though. Although, or his, zero, excuse me, his 0-2 totem. Although I could just not. I could just double Heroic Strike and hit him for, like, a stupid amount of damage. I prefer to hold Heroic Strike till later, though, so let's Phantom Freebooter instead. I could Corkron Elite and hold the Phantom Freebooter for later value, but I think Freebooter's better here, because... Yeah, I'd rather save the Heroic Strikes and Corcoran Elites for later when they're a bit more clutch. Um, I'm gonna hold off on using my weapon. I hope I don't... I hope I don't regret this. Hmm, so far not really regretting it. That 7-7 seven, seven needs to be dealt with, though. I'm gonna just Heroic Strike that thing. Heroic Strike. Another Blood Sail Raider. Good value. Then we'll bop the 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't love taking 7 damage, but we're hitting him for 11 as well, which is pretty damn good. And we have lethal by far next turn. So yeah, there you go again. If he can clear everything, if he can clear us down to less than 3 damage left, then he has a shot. Nope, he got greedy. What are you even doing there, guy? Oh, damn. South Sea Captain. South Sea Captain! Pirate Warrior is stupid. <laughs> there we go! Got to love it. Didn't even really get to make use of our, our new stuff so much, except, I guess, Heroic Strikes, which are just the greatest thing ever. Anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.